ITV News has heard from dozens of women who all say they've suffered an adverse reaction to so-called liquid Brazilian butt lift treatments with physical and mental side effects. The victims came forward after we first highlighted concerns about the filler BBL procedure back in December. The organisation Safe Face, which is a register for medical aesthetic treatments, reported 153 complaints since our report about liquid butt lifts and hip dip procedures. 53% of those developed blood poisoning, sepsis, and 27% of all complainants needed corrective surgery. In this special report, Ellie Pitt brought together three women who suffered severe reactions. She also confronted one of the men who administered some of the injections and a warning that Ellie's report contains graphic images from botched procedures, which you may find upsetting. I feel like I've been medically abused. I could literally get my side and just like go like this and stuff would come out, would squeeze out like after about six months. I certainly would not be going ahead with any more treatments. Monique, and it's not like that. Bonnie and, and Pagan have all had a cosmetic procedure called a non-surgical Brazilian butt lift. It involves hundreds of millilitres of synthetic liquid called filler being injected into the buttocks to achieve a larger bum and pear-shaped figure. But an undercover investigation by ITV News revealed that practitioners with no medical training can go on a one-day course and then perform the BBL. Our footage showed unhygienic practices and dangerous needle techniques that experts told us were horrific. Multiple women contacted us after our report and shared the psychological and physical pain they've experienced following botched liquid BBLs. Monique spent more than a week in hospital because she developed a serious infection that led the skin on her bum to rot away. It came up in blisters. They then started to pop, like all the filler was coming out, blood, it was terrible. And then the next day I woke up and my side was like black with holes in. They took me for surgery, um, scooped some of the skin away. I was in pain for about five weeks, like ex excruciating pain for about five weeks. That was awful. I couldn't really, I've got a little boy, he's eight, and um, I couldn't really look after him properly. Like, it was terrible. Bonnie collapsed at home after her procedure and was rushed to hospital in an ambulance. The doctors come into my room and just basically said, look, you're really poorly, you've got sepsis. Um, had your sister not have called the ambulance when she did, she said, you could have died within the hour. Uh, my little boy could have been an orphan. Pagan went for the non-surgical BBL because it was advertised as only uncomfortable with no recovery time needed. But that's not what she found. The procedure itself was really painful and it was all a very rushed process. There was not really much talking. I was very nervous, very scared. I didn't really ask what I probably should have asked or what he probably should have explained to me, given that I haven't been there before. Unhappy with the results, Pagan complained only for them to ignore her. I had no, no welfare towards me. Um, I've now been resulted in being blocked on social media and WhatsApp. And I feel very neglected as well for the company. Pagan and Bonnie booked their BBL appointments through a clinic called Lift Aesthetics, whose list of reality TV star clients includes Katie Price. Here I am, guys, at Lift Aesthetics. Just had um, 500 mils put in my bum. Love Island's Hannah Elizabeth. I have had um, a top up 500 ml on my liquid BBF. And Danny Imbert from The Only Way is Essex. Customers we've spoken to say they were drawn in by the celebrity clientele. Lift Aesthetics refer their bookings to this man. Ricky Sawyer, who does the injections. Because of our investigation, Epping Forest District Council in Essex began their own into Mr Sawyer and have stopped him from being able to do the filler BBL in an unsafe way in their local authority area. After he received the prohibition notice banning him from carrying out the filler BBL in parts of Essex, we know Ricky Sawyer has done them in Manchester and here in Canary Wharf in London.
which is where we found him, turning up for a day of appointments, carrying his equipment in a tray and plastic bag. Mr Sawyer, given that several of your clients have needed hospital treatment and emergency surgery, why are you still carrying out the BBLs? Epping Forest have asked you to stop doing these filler BBLs, haven't they? Is that why you're moving around the country, going to different locations? While I asked him questions, he did not say a single word. Mr Sawyer, do you really not have anything to say to your clients? He then went into the train station, but just a few hours later was posting online advertising his services. What do you make about the fact that we've been contacted by quite a number of women like yourselves who have had exactly the same impact? So angry. Yeah. I don't think it should be allowed, the whole thing. And I think when something's as serious as, you know, contracting sepsis and having forever scarring, uh, you're messing with people's lives. Well, really, clearly a huge impact on these women's lives. What's been the response from the companies that you investigated? Lift Aesthetics, that clinic that Bonnie and Pagan used to book their procedures through, have not responded to allegations of medical abuse and neglect. In previous correspondence, they referred to an unfortunate minority of clients who experienced complications following on from their treatment. As for their celebrity clients, Katie Price and Danny Imbert's management both got back to us and said they'd not be commenting on our findings. But Hannah Elizabeth from Love Island has told us that she was unaware of the allegations, that she will be looking into it and giving serious considerations as to what treatments she has in the future. The problem with this, Lucrezia, is that this industry is unregulated. It means that anybody can pick up a needle with no medical qualification or training mm. and they're not actually technically doing anything wrong. Now, the government has done a consultation on this. It's looking at bringing in a licensing scheme, but they've told us that work could go on into next year. In the meantime, we want to hear from anybody that's had an aesthetic procedure that's gone wrong. They can get in touch with us. It's investigations at ITV.com. All right, Ellie. Um... Shocking stuff, thank you.